Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how I colored my hair at home. Now, I've been coloring my hair at home for years, okay? And I've definitely had my fair share of messy, failed hair color attempts. But that is not going to happen today, okay? In this video, I am taking you through how I used the Clairol Natural Instincts hair color to achieve this look, this hair color that you see now. to partner with them to share this process because truly this is my favorite at home hair color product that I've used in a very long time. I don't like messy, I don't like intense smells, I don't like all the chemicals and hair color can be scary sometimes, right? And especially with all of us being at home for now, <laughs> a long time, uh, I know many of you are testing out at home hair color and I definitely want you to see how I've used the Clairol Natural Instincts color because I feel like it's one of the easiest to work with on the market. Now I actually use the color brown black for my hair and as you can see my hair looks pretty black, right? But I always tend to go a couple shades, not even a couple, probably a shade or two lighter than what I think I want because for me my hair, it attracts the color so fast. Like I don't know what it is and it's probably something science-y and like a hairstylist could probably tell you why my hair attaches the color so much. but. I know that every time I use a dark color, it's pretty much gonna go darker than what I think. I wanted to keep a more natural color to my hair because I really just wanted a refresh. You know, sometimes our hair can just look dull. It doesn't shine as much as it used to. It just needs kind of like a revival, okay? And that's what I love about this hair color here is that it is not permanent, okay? It's going to last up to about 28 shampoos. And for me, that was like, not even the case, okay? I kept my hair color pretty decent for almost a year, okay? And I don't necessarily use like clarifying shampoos as much as probably someone with a looser texture or straight hair um, person would do. But for me, I co-wash a lot, cleanse, you know, I use sulfate-free cleansers and all that kind of stuff. So especially if you are someone who doesn't use like clarifying or like heavy shampoos on a regular basis, you can definitely extend it longer. But the other nice thing is that this formula only takes 20 minutes to activate so you are not gonna spend all day worrying about it you're not gonna you know have a two to three hour whole ordeal just to get your hair colored this super easy very non messy formula is made to be like easy it's not made to be difficult now to get us started I want to take you through what's in the box now this box comes with instructions number one <laughs> gloves the color cream the color activator, and the Brilliant Shine Conditioner. Now, if this is your first time coloring at home, definitely do a test strand, and the instructions in the box tell you exactly how to test a strand in the back of your head, girl, um, before continuing on if you are worried about um, you know, having a reaction or anything like that. Now, once you're ready to color, you're going to add the color cream to the, the color activator. Now, it's really easy because they number these products as well, so there's no way to mess this up, okay? One, two, three, it's super simple. Add number one to number two. Now, you're gonna give that a good shake, and then now you're ready to apply. Now, I recommend, especially if you have natural hair, curly hair, textured hair, to section and detangle and even blow dry your hair before applying the color. Because it gets really hard when you are trying to work with your curls and applying that color really smoothly. It's just more difficult. So I actually brushed out and braided up my hair in sections the day before and that helped me be able to already have my hair sectioned out and easy to apply the hair color in the spots that I want to apply it. Now, the texture of this hair color feels very conditioner-like. So it's a little bit thicker than other hair color mixtures, and that's what I like because you're not gonna have a ton of drippage. You are gonna have some because we're not perfect, right? But you're definitely gonna have a better chance of keeping things pretty clean. Thank you. 
Once that sat on my hair for about 20 minutes, I went ahead and just rinsed it out and used the Brilliant Shine Conditioner to moisturize my hair and condition my hair after the color. And that's literally it, y'all. And this is how my hair came out. Super cute, very like all over the same color. We don't have any like blotchy areas or anything like that. And the thing is, I was a little bit worried about if I could actually tell a difference between my hair before and after because I was essentially using the same color that I used last time, but I can definitely tell a difference in the richness of the color on my hair and the darkness. It definitely gave me a, a new look, but not too far from what I already had. And when I look at my hair in the sunlight, you can definitely see like the brown coming out. And my own natural hair color is very like dark brown, but brown, like not black, even though my hair is really dark. So I definitely give that tip out there for sure. If you are looking for like a black hair color, just do dark brown, okay? I, I, that comes with hair color, that comes with eyebrow pencils, okay? If you have black hair, use dark brown, okay? That's just a tip, an all over tip to take with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely highly recommend the Natural Instincts color from Clairol. It, the results are bomb, exactly what I wanted, super easy to work with and you can definitely check out these at your local retailers and also on clairol.com. Hey baby. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Come here. Come here. You took a baby. She's been trying to get in this whole time. Say bye, see you in our next video. This is a big girl.